All this excitement is good news for local businesses. Yes, restaurants, bars, and caterers already uh, getting slammed with those orders from people looking to build the ultimate Super Bowl spread. Our Alicia Nieves is live inside Slag's Hogan Shack in Port Richmond with more on how they are preparing for the big weekend. Alicia. Well, Yuki and Nicole, the owner of Slacks, has told us that he has had to have an extra person work here every day since Tuesday just to take in all the catering orders coming in. If you take a look over here, those uh, papers, those are just some of the orders that have come in within the last couple of hours. The team here has been just so busy today trying to prepare as much as possible to fill these orders. And this level of busyness at this business or a business like this really is a trend all over the city and the region this weekend. Ever since the Philadelphia Eagles destroyed the Minnesota Vikings in the NFC Championship game. So I got 36 rolls behind you, Troy, for this tray, all right? It has been non-stop madness for restaurants and caterers in the greater Philadelphia area. The night of the NFC Championship, the phone calls started coming in for reservations, for catering, everything across the board. Uh, it, it, we've literally had to man people on the phones just to work the phones. Restaurant businesses like Chickie and Pete's in South Philly have quadrupled the number of food orders for this Sunday's Super Bowl. So we've got a lot of a lot of pre-orders for it. Um, we are going to start stop them uh, prior around four o'clock the day of the game, just so we can give our staff the, the ability to be able to come in. Everybody's going to be in here. So many of these businesses are only taking orders until tomorrow, or at best, just before the game. So if you haven't placed one yet and want to hurry. Like we heard that nobody's taking orders that same day. They all want everything pre-ordered and stuff like that, but we're not doing that. Dennis Slack with Slack's Hoagie Shack in Northeast Philly is going to make the most of the busy business, planning on taking orders now and all day, even during the game Sunday. This is my 30th Super Bowl at the store. Now, any idea business-wise where Sunday will rank? This will be our number one day ever, I believe. And Dennis Slack told us that he is going to have to have a refrigerated truck outside the business tomorrow to hold all of the wings and all the extra meat that he is going to need to fill the orders this weekend. He even told us he had to buy an additional fryer to fry all those wings and fill everything for all the big Super Bowl parties. We're now reporting live inside Slack's Hoagie Shack in Port Richmond, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Give everybody a high five there for yes. us. They're busy indeed. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah, you got the game. You need the food. That's right. You know?